The government will neither object to nor move to block former President Rodrigo Duterte should he choose to surrender himself to the International Criminal Court, according to the palace. In a statement to reporters on Wednesday, November 13, Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin says Duterte is free to surrender himself to the jurisdiction of the ICC after the former president dared the international court to immediately begin its probe into his drug war. Bersamin adds that if the ICC requests the International Criminal Police Organization or Interpol to issue a red notice and send it to the Philippines, the government will take it seriously. An Interpol red notice is a global alert to locate and provisionally detain a person awaiting extradition or similar legal action based on a valid arrest warrant from the requesting country. At the Quad Committee hearing earlier Wednesday, Gabriela Partilist Representative Arlene Brosas asked Duterte if he would cooperate with the investigation, including that of the ICC. Duterte replied by saying the ICC is welcome to start its probe as soon as Thursday, November 14, adding he might die before... The probe uh, even begins at the ICC. Several cases for the crime against humanity of mass murder were filed against Duterte and his police officials. Officially, there are over 6,000 drug suspects who died during police operations while Duterte was in office from July 2016 to June 2022. However, human rights lawyer Chal Jokna said the office of the president under Duterte listed at least 20,000 drug war-related deaths among its accomplishments in a 2017 report.